On Monday, I had to replace the optical drive in the Dell E5400 um, laptop. And um, I'll show you how I did it. What you'll need, of course, is a screwdriver. And of course, a Dell E5400. Um, I presume it's the same for some of the other eight Dells as well. Laptop. What you need to do is turn over the computer. When you've turned it over, you'll see here. I don't know. Here we have little hole and inside there there's a screw and that will loosen up this drive in the uh, system so let's do that it's a bit awkward because it's inside the uh, actual hole and it's a bit awkward, oh, it's awkward to see what we're doing especially with the small with the screwdriver I'm using it's awkward to see if you're tightening it up or uh, Loosening it, oh, it's, lo it's getting loose now. So just, oh, I don't like this type of there. Screwdrivers, but they too small. So make sure you don't lose your screw. So put that somewhere safe. Now it's a bit awkward to actually slide the drive out. The way I did it was um, take the keyboard off. It's quite, this is easy to do. I took the keyboard off and um, On either side, so where they are. So here we have like a little by the power button, we have like an indent on the side to help pull up the plastic. Now it's easier if you have the, the screen flat back because of um, some of these Dells pull the hinge cover off as well. So wait until you lift it up right like that. As you can see, it's easy if you do that because it pulls off the hinge cover. And once you've done that, you can see you have the panel. What we want to do is unscrew this and that screw. Without losing them, of course. Of course, I think I've just lost my other screw. I don't know. Um, probably on my desk somewhere, which is a complete mess. Maybe it's off and see. I'll see it then. What you want to do is just take out these two screws to hold the keyboard. That it's a bit awkward with the tripod. In place. Take these screws out. Without losing them. And then you need to do that for both of the screws. And then we can take the keyboard out. The way this keyboard works is there's a connector where the trackpad is. The reason for this is if you had the option for the track point on the device. So under here is a connector so you need to pull it um, slide it forward. It took me a while to work it out. But 
There we are. Pull out the clips for it and then slide it forward. As you can see, we can see the connector here. That's because on the models that have the track on the models that have the track point here, you have the track point buttons, and you wouldn't have this part here on the laptop. So here is the optical drive. Um, so it's quite easy to do. Put, just grab the laptop. You can lift the hinge of it now, and then just it's awkward doing it the way I'm doing it. But you can now uh, slide out the drive. This is to the non module bay ones. I replaced it with this, which the person who sold me the, uh, or the company who sold me the computer gave me. To put it back in, just slide in the drive. And then re add on the keyboard. Handy if you've got a magnetic screwdriver because then you can pick them up. So and then slot the screw in and tighten it up. Then grab the next screw. And screw that in. Switch this display around so I can see what I'm doing. Um, if you can get it, if you can get the magnet to hold it properly. So just slot it into the hole and then screw it in nice, nicely. So it's not too loose and it's not too tight. And then there's no screws to put the plastic panel back in. Just make sure that you have the uh, screen right out, display out, and then just slot it in. Um, can easier if you were slot in that side first and then push it in like that and then just push it down and it does take a bit of time to get in just to form where the clips are there we are I myself am actually getting an E60 for 10 laptop as well, which replaced the E6400. On the bottom of the de device, we need to just re screw in the before. The screw that holds the optical driving, if you can get it back in. And then just screw that in nice and tight so it's not going to slide out. I'm just going to put this screwdriver away. And then turn on the computer, and you'll see that your drive has been installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and turn it on and go into the BIOS. So now we're in the BIOS.
and system information we can see the hard drive and we have a, in the fixed bay device we have a DVD plus minus rewritable um, then maybe some other information on it uh, boot sequence you'll see that you'll be able to boot from it um, This one does say it has a module bay, but it doesn't. Um, so, we can just exit the system. Set up. Not going to say any changes. And that's how you do the place the keyboard and the um, oh well take take the keyboard remove the keyboard and the optical device on the download shield E5400 laptop